a delivery of precious cargo to Queensland's outback. The Royal Flying Doctor Service is taking COVID-19 vaccinations to some of the state's most remote residents. Lane, come on in mate. The Central West last week became Queensland's first health service region to hit 70% double vaccination, a feat which wouldn't have been possible without the RFDS. Good, easy, makes it a lot easier for the community. So we always pack more than we need and most of the time we end up using the extras that we pack which is great. RFDS clinics are the only way many in the outback can access Pfizer. So it doesn't like being transported on bumpy roads um, and so hence in the central west that can be a challenge for us. Come and have a seat mate. A bonus of these intimate clinics is that both doses are administered by a familiar face. One, two, three. Oh, it was the same lady, which was good. <laughs> yeah, she was cool. That's fun trying to catch up with everyone going, oh, so I met you last week, have you found a job yet? Despite the vaccination milestone, the head of the region's rollout says serious work still needs to be done before Queensland's borders open. It's hard not to get doomy and gloomy, but, you know, for me, as much as we've done well, this vaccination rate's not high enough. And I want to get that vaccination rate as high as we can. Our hospitals are already at peak. They've got no room left. Our ambulance service is already at a stretch. When COVID does come to the outback, patients will need to be flown to larger hospitals on the coast for treatment by services like the RFDS. I reckon they're just absolute legends. They're champions, you know. It's helping the outback, you know, it's really good. Living up to its reputation as a lifeline for the bush. Ellie Grounds, ABC News, Isisford.